Why are you defending something you have never encountered in your life? A lot of our youth are being murdered in daily basis through motor accident. Thousands are in jail today in overseas. Many are dying in the Mediterranean Sea. Go to New Hope Hospital and see thousands of cancer patients. Go to New Hope Hospital and see thousands of liver. Yes, so my people not be smart, you know, our brother Mr. Matthias Eziako, a geo for founder and CEO, Evil Love Themselves Charity Foundation. <laughs> now, now they see for my screen, so you are highly welcome. If you read the follow me now for some, you will not say my name, Urum Pekin. And they always they follow this, our brother up, Mr. Matthias Eziako, a geo for, and they always they like to drop the videos for my platform, you understand? Because I they like the way Matthias they, they talk, the way they, they reason, where well, you understand? But the other side will be say me, Urum Pekin, and they always they support when Matthias they always they talk go. The aspect of say, uh, God na fake, you understand? Jesus na this, God na this. Jesus not be fake. You understand? God already blessed Nigeria. Nigeria as a country. God as in Nigeria is highly blessed. If you come out for Nigeria, say you travel out of Nigeria, now you know say God bless Nigeria. If Nigeria go better, depend on our politicians, Nigeria pastors, and me and you, individual. You understand? If we all work with one man, use one head, Nigeria go better, and Nigeria go move forward. You understand? So, you just be like me, Urum, make I use myself, give example. God don't already create me as a man and as a human being. Don't give me cassava. <laughs> you can't expect me, God, come see carry woman, give me the other one when they under. No, it's not less for me. You understand? So, guys, make sure me share at this video. I go see you now for the next update coming up soon. Respect, one love, guys. Towards the life of our brother, um, Mr. Nkemdelem Chisum, who is down now with a kidney failure, and they uh, cried aloud yesterday on his behalf. And uh, you guys supported him massively, in which we have started the uh, dialysis today um, to make sure we save our brother in Kemdelem with a normal, proper solution made to do it everywhere in the world. So I would like you to share today's video because today's program is going to be uh, strong, you know, and um, it will be a message that will liberate a lot of families, those who wish to liberate themselves, who wish to reason like their slave masters, so engage them with lies and keep on causing a black man to bury a young lady, a young boy of 24, 19, 20 years, out of common ignorance, out of stupidity, out of uh, useless belief, out of uh, faith without work in Africa, out of uh, laziness, out of stupidity, out of power of slavery. Yeah, I want to as well remind you that today, when we went to visit our brother who is down with kidney failure, in that kidney department, you see a lot of our people waiting outside even for their own time of dialysis. Many of them, thousands of them, and a lot of them are going to keep the pocket because once their family finish what they have or spend what they have on that the dialysis, believe me, if there is no money to continue the dialysis, the person will die. And a lot of us have died in this mess. Thousands of people, youth have died in this mess. Thousands of our born children will still die in this mess. Thousands of us listening to me now will still die in such mess because we have failed to have what it takes to prevent such thing in our land as it is being done today in Canada, in USA, in Germany, in France, even in Portugal that brought Bible and religion to you. I don't know why a black man has chosen to keep on swimming in lies, to keep on practicing what he has never seen in practical in his family. Because I strongly believe that there is nobody watching me today that any spirit have cured anybody with cancer, sickness in his family. Nobody watching me now can come to test fight that his mother or his mother or his father or his dad was diagnosed of kidney failure and after calling the god of european called jesus a blue boy's eyes killing our people in daily basis the person's health become restored instantly nobody will testify here they only testify from their criminal activity houses called adoration ministry program ministry and prayer houses in churches in nigeria is where a lot of but uh, a young youth has been buried alive right now as I'm talking to you. A lot of our people watching me now are just dead ghosts. 
dead animals moving around. Dead evil people that have suffered lies, that don't want to listen to the truth, that Nigeria pastors and bishops have sworn to use them for sacrifice in order to promote their evil forest called churches in Nigeria. Why are you defending something you have never encountered in your life? A lot of our youth are being murdered in daily basis through motor accident. Thousands are in jail today in overseas. Many are dying in Mediterranean Sea. Go to New Hope Hospital and see thousands of cancer patients. Go to New Hope Hospital and see thousands of liver failure patients. Go to New Hope Hospital today and see thousands of kidney failure patients. In my office, I have them more than 30,000 in number. And it's not only black people that encounter such sickness. White people do. But they have provided a provision for such anybody that encounters such thing to receive the proper way made to cure such sickness so that the person will live and bring a value and add value to this world we are. But look at the, the life of a black man in 21st century. Black people are shouting like animals in daily basis in order to solve their problem. You open Facebook in the morning, you see more than 17,000 black jobless animals. 17,000 people following one program shouting ah, 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 ah. The 17,000 is zero in production of cow to eradicate poverty. The 17,000 in number is zero in production of oxygen to save life. These people what didn't want to live as a human being. That is why we say that we have to look at our, to, we have to go back to our root. We have to depart from Christianity. Really. It is means they brought light robbery. A broad day robbing, robbing our people's brain, robbing their pocket, robbing their sense of reason, robbing them to their earlier grave. You see 17,000 youth, Nigeria graduates, female, Nigeria mother and father, shouting in daily money. <laughs> Out of that 17,000 naira, we have zero one that can produce television. Come on, Samsung television. Come on, Holy Ghost. Let them produce Holy Ghost television. With the 17,000 people there, zero. we have zero one that cannot produce come on, Holy Ghost uh, TV. At least to remove Holy Ghost uh, poverty in our, in our villages. You open your Facebook in the morning, you see 17,000 black animals shouting to acquire Mercedes Benz, being given on credit by a German citizen. Shouting like animals to acquire basic things made by man in China. They are not shouting to acquire the sky that God has already made. They are not shouting like animals to acquire the sea that God has already made. They are not shouting like animals to acquire the sun and the moon that Almighty Creator has fixed in his own good position. The only thing they are shouting like animals is to acquire protection with zero, bad, with zero good road. They want to acquire self-delivery in a maternity. A black idiot is shouting like animal every morning, every morning to acquire free delivery, peaceful delivery in a community where there is zero hospital. African children, religion, Christianity have wasted you as a dustbin. We mean waste on this planet Earth. We mean a waste. Black means a waste. Do we add any value to this earth? No. No, we are looking for where it has been done through human sense of reasoning. Chinese have already cooked their nation, cook it, and now it is done for them to eat. Now they cook the production of this button you have. They are now eating what is the resources that are coming from this button, enjoying the task coming from this button, enjoy free medical care that comes from the tax that is being taken from where this button is being produced in Chicken Chow Village in China. Chinese people that have cooked the food of blessing in their country, now they are enjoying it. A black man that don't want to cook the same food of having where ordinary butter can be produced to eradicate poverty in our nation. They want the same fucking Jesus to give them visa to go and enjoy in China. Now when they go to China, China will prison them. Put them in prison. Put them in prison with no mercy. Ground them like engine. Kill them. Murder them. They killed one at the back of my side in India. Can you kill an Indian man in Nigeria? You can never try it. 
They are Hindus. They are not Christian. You can never kill any Indian person. You can't even touch the person. If you touch the person, you will go for life jail because they have man that is made to protect man in their nation. But what you have in Nigeria is Holy Ghost. What you have in Nigeria is 70,000 stupid people running around everywhere all over the world. They are in Pakistan, selling themselves in Pakistan, using themselves for, um, what they call it? In Pakistan, using themselves to borrow money. Using themselves, killing themselves everywhere in, in Afghanistan. Our boys are in Egypt, Cambodia, Morocco. Our boys are in the street in Italy, begging money on that in the mall to survive. All of them is Jesus doing. I know them in your mind. I know them in your Oh, they told me, say you they give visa. Oh, they told me, oh, you are giving visa. Yeah, yeah, say you they give visa, Jesus. And I have come, it becomes their unity. Every power holding my visa, every power holding my document, every power holding my visa. Take your visa. I'm taking my visa to America, I'm taking my visa to Canada. Oh Jesus, 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 Jesus. A black man want to take visa from Jesus to go to a country that developed their land with their human sense of reasoning. This is the work of Christianity in our land to make us slave forever. A black man is crying for visa of a Canada. The same Jesus will take you out of your land instead of making your land to be better than Canada. Religion is a cause, is a cancer, sparkling like a cancer in your brain. The same Jesus is going to give a black man visa to leave his inherited land, to go to another man's land as a slave. And the parking poopy of elderly.